All right, so now that you know how to manage the interface, you know, moving around those tabs and adjusting the layout as you want, now we're going to learn how you can deal with game objects, you know, how can you create your own game objects, and so on and so forth. So first of all, you have to know how to move around uh, or a camera that controls the scene view, because of course there's a kind of an invisible camera here that uh, renders what we see but it's pretty important that you know how to move it around. Okay, so let's start with that. I'm just gonna give myself some more space here. And if you hit shift space while uh, having your mouse on top of some uh, some tab here, it's gonna, you know, maximize for you. So you have yourself quite a lot of space. This is pretty useful, uh, especially when you're, when you're testing your, your game and you wanna have uh, the game view maximized. All right, so this is just a little little trick for you, it works with every single tab, okay, even though some some of them are quite useless uh, in this process. So now we're gonna, um, we're gonna learn how you can move the camera around. So first of all, zooming in and zooming out is pretty straightforward. You just move your, move your, your mouse scroll up and down or, you know, back and forth. To rotate your camera, just hold Alt or Option if you're on a Mac and click and move around. All right, so this rotates this camera. And if you were using a, a mouse that has three buttons, you're gonna use the, the third button to move the camera, you know, up and down and uh, left to right. But in my case, I'm gonna use this option here. That's a little little hand here. I'm gonna click on it, or you can press Q to select it. And when you click and drag your mouse around, you kind of move your camera. Okay, so these are just the three uh, simple commands that you have to be aware of in order to move around this camera view. Okay, so just make sure that you move back to this option here, and this basically uh, allow you to move your objects around. So first of all, let's select one of these game objects, and there are two ways of selecting them. You can either click on it in the hierarchy here, or you can click directly uh, on top of it in the scene view. All right, so there's no mesh in this object, there's no 3D content, but there is this what we call a gizmo here. So if you click on this gizmo, you select that object. All right, and when I click on this option here, and this kind of kind of anchor here, it allows me to move my object around, okay? And what can I do with this? Well, not much, but if you select the, the rotating tool here, and if you rotate this object, you can see that in the game view, you're gonna see kind of a, a day and night system because Unity 5 now has this this cool thing going on that kind of uh, allows you to build this without importing any special assets, you know, just by using the rotating tool with uh, a, a directional light, okay? so. Yeah, this is something that you can do just by using, you know, the rotation, the rotation tool, and you can also change between this, um, this options here by pressing key W A R and T. All right, so these they select those items, those those options in the same order. So Q for the pan here, and T for this option here that controls UI sprites that we're gonna see later on, okay? So let's go back to moving our, our objects around and we're gonna add a object, all right? So to add an object, you can either click on create here on the hierarchy and then go for 3D object or whatever you want, but in this case, we're gonna go for a 3D object so we can see a little bit of content here and uh, let's go for a sphere, all right? Uh, the second option before I click here, we're gonna go, uh, through the second option, you just click game object right here, 3D object, and then uh, sphere, right? And here's our sphere. It's already working, it has some nice and shine uh, lights on it. You can, you can see some, some rim uh, lighting effect. And uh, if you wanna focus on this on this sphere here, it should, it sh it should be displayed here uh, in the hierarchy, so maybe Unity 5 is kind of buggy now. So what I'm, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna quickly restart the same um, 
project. So file, open project, and I'm going to select the same here, UI lectures. I'm going to click do not save. I'm going to add this sphere again. And there you go. So now I have a sphere on my scene and there is this sphere also being listed in the hierarchy here. All right. So if you want to focus on this item, uh, you can either double click in the item in, inside the hierarchy or press F while your mouse is inside the scene view. All right. So pressing F, you focus on your item, you know, or double click, also focus on your item. Okay. So if you click outside, it's going to deselect this item. So just moving around to check the cool lighting that you have. Cool sign effect here. All right, so uh, maybe you want to play around with the other uh, 3D objects that we have here. But for now, we're going to just set up a quick, uh, not a challenge, just a quick exercise. We're going to build a snowman out of this sphere. So to build a snowman, to, be, to build a, a believable snowman, we got to have uh, at least three spheres, all right? One for the, for the lower body, one for the upper body, and one for the head. So first of all, what I'm going to do, and that's a common practice here, I'm going to select my sphere and place it at the origin. And what is that? You just come here in the transform component and you set X, Y, and Z to be zero. Of course, you can do this by dragging these around. But this is kind of tricky, right? You, you have to move until you line up it perfectly with the zero. And this is, you know, it can be very tricky. So you have two ways. You can either set them manually to zero, 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 or you can click on this, on this little icon here and select reset. And this is going to reset everything, position, rotation, and scale. But in this case, we just, uh, we just change the position. So it's going to reset the position. And there it is. So let's focus on this item again. There you go. So what if I want to build two more of these spheres? I have two ways. I can build them manually uh, through this option here, or I can kind of use the same sphere and I can duplicate this. So to do this, you just hit Control D or maybe Command D if you're on a Mac, or maybe even right click on it and duplicate. And there you have, it looks like you don't have anything here, but you have one sphere inside another. So just try to move this one up. And there you go. All right. So uh, second thing we have to do to build this upper body here, we have to scale it down. All right. So you can either use those scale options here, you know, but this is going to scale each axis at a time. And this is not what we want. We want to have a uniform scaling in each axis. So we just select the scaling tool here, also accessible through the R key. And if you click on this uh, white cube, or maybe, maybe this grayish cube that's in the center, if you click on it, and if you drag your mouse around, you can kind of scale this up and down, all right? So let's just give this enough scaling to look like a snowman's upper body and looks like this will do. And let's do, let's do this just one more time. All right. So control D press W to use the um, positioning tool, move it up, press R to use the scaling tool, scale it down, press W again to use the position tool and move it down again. And looks like we have a, a nice snowman. Maybe if you want to place in some arms here, you can do it out of cubes, you know, little cubes that we scale in some axis. So let's do this. Just click game object, 3D object, and then cube, or maybe capsule. You choose it. Maybe capsule is a, is a, is a better one. So choose capsule. It looks kind of big, but, you know, let's just work with the scaling here. So scale it down in all axis. Maybe move it out of this sphere so we can see it. There I go. Scale it down even further or even more. All right. So this looks good. And now I'm going to scale it just in the Y axis. So I'm going to click on this uh, tool that refers to the Y axis and I'm going to bring it up. So I'm just scaling it in the Y axis. All right. So I'm going to move this up a little bit. Maybe I can rotate it so it looks like a arm. So I'm going to bring the rotation tool. I'm going to uh, just check for the correct axis here. So as you can see, the axis that's going to give me the, the rotation that I want 
is this z-axis. So I'm going to rotate along the z-axis by clicking on this blue line. So if you click on it and if you drag your mouse around, you can see that I, I smoothly rotated this arm. There I go. So let's place this item uh, close to my, my snowman's upper body here. There we go. And there's just one more left. So duplicate this move it to its correct position. So if I want to adjust this um, this arm correctly, I'm just going to rotate it 180 degrees in the y-axis. Because if I pick up the rotation tool here, and if I try to move it or to rotate around the y-axis by using this, this greenish line, you can see that axes are matching. So red is for x, green is for Y and blue is for Z. So they match these axes that we have um, right here. All right. So if I try to rotate it, maybe I'm not going to be able to rotate it exactly by 180 degrees, but I can just set it manually here. So I click on this option, I set it to 180 and there we go, I rotated it. So let's just pick the positioning tool here, bring it closer to my snowman maybe not close enough, so a little bit closer, and there you go. It's looking beautiful, right? Okay, so what if I want to move this object around? So if I want to move it, I have to select all of these five objects from which the snowman is made from and move it around. So this is kind of, you know, maybe tricky, maybe um, it's a bit of a tough work to just a simple accomplishment, right? So there is a, an easier way you can select them uh, at once, so click on an object, hold con hold control, click on another, hold control, st I'm still holding control, right? Click another, click another, or you can do the same process uh, in the hierarchy, you can, you can just keep um, control pressed and select uh, the objects that you want to include in, in your in your selection here, and now you just have one uh, positioning um, tool here. So if I use this one, I can move my entire object around, okay? All right, so maybe if I just want to have one specific item that controls the entire body, the entire um, group of elements, and we can use the concept of parenting in this case. So we usually parent stuff onto an em empty uh, game object. And what an empty game object is, is usually a game object that has no mesh, has no 3D content. It just has um, tools to move it around, you know, to change its position, so on and so forth. Okay, so to build one of these, you just click game object and then create empty. Okay, so this is an empty game object. It's kind of hard to select it. I think it's even impossible because you can't see it, but if you come here in the hierarchy, is this uh, item that's um, that says game object here. So select it, and I want to put it right uh, in the middle of the snowman because it makes more sense. This is this is going to be the controller of the whole snowman. So to facilitate my my work here, you can click on one of these axes, and my view is going to be exactly changed to match this axis. Okay, so it's going to facilitate my job a little bit. Maybe I'm going to use the y-axis, so I'm looking uh, at a top perspective here. Okay, just um, change the position. There you go. So now I can place it correctly. All right. So uh, just in case you're wondering why your your position two is not showing, maybe you have this option here selected. So make sure you always change to your control um, options here. There you go. So now, uh, what if I move this object? I can move it, but my snowman is not going with it. That's because I didn't parent the game objects to my empty one. All right. So I'm going to select all of the objects from which the snowman is made from. I'm going to drag them and drop onto my empty game object. I'm going to release the mouse button. And now these five game objects, they're children of my empty game object. And if you can see that when I click on this empty game object, everything is selected. And if I move it around, I uh, end up moving everything. Okay. If I rotate it, same thing. If I scale it, same thing. All right. So if you expand this, you can take items 
out of this parenting just by dragging them out of the of the parent. All right. So now when I move my my parent, I'm not going to move the lower body because I I took it out, all right? But I'm going to put it again. There you go. Maybe you want to rename this objects to give them a little bit of a more sense, right? Maybe I want to call this instead of game object. I want to call it snowman. So just right click, rename, type in snowman, and there you go, right? Okay, so this is kind of a, you know, a long lecture for just uh, dealing with game objects. So this is it for this lecture, and I see you in the next one.